guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am running a crap ton of errands. I have a lot to do today. I just had to stop at Shoppers because I needed to pick something up, but they didn't have it in stock. So I'm gonna have to go back to, I have to go to another location to see if they have it. I need to go to a dealership to pick something up. And then I'm off to my friend's birthday event and I'll be in the deep north for that. So it's gonna be a lot of driving today. Skin is skinning. I've been breaking out. It's been super stressful. Um, and I think the makeup just saved the day. You can kind of see it. I have like several pimples on my forehead, which never happens, but um, we just got to roll with those punches. So, yeah, It's kind of nice. I love these days by myself where I can just like get stuff done and feel super productive. That took longer than expected, but I am off to the birthday party now. I'm about like nine minutes away, so let's go. Just finished at the birthday party. It's a beautiful day out today. We had the Vietnamese charcuterie, which was always delicious. But now I'm off to my nail appointment. So heading back inner city for that. I'm off to brunch at Queens. Have not been in a very long time. I had another friend tell me that their matcha latte can't talk. I had a friend that told me that their matcha latte is really, really good. I am definitely so down to try that. You guys all know I'm in my matcha latte era. Um, I usually don't eat brunch food. It's just not like my go-to, but I think it'll be nice for a change. I just wanted to thank everyone for all the birthday wishes. This year looks a little bit different and I'm excited. Um, I think usually for birthdays, I would rather it be just like a normal day, but with so much change happening in my life, it was actually really nice to see my friends. And even though I swamped myself with a ton of work this month, it was still nice that um, my friends made time and I was able to make time to just do a little bit of celebrating. I'm definitely not one for speeches. I am a person of very few words. I am genuinely so blessed to have a lot of amazing people in my life who really made this birthday extra special. Even though I didn't plan on doing anything, from the surprises to the dinners and everything, I'm just so grateful for everyone. That's basically it. I love you guys and that's my speech. Called Pricket Richard. 
Um, never been. It looks super cool when I Googled it. So, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I am gonna put you right there. I am just parked because I am getting my lashes done. It is always a great day when it's a lash day and I get to see one of my best friends, which I haven't seen in a super long time. So I'm really excited about that. But next clip, my lashes are gonna be nice and full. Um, yeah, instant mood change when the lashes are looking real good. Yeah, lashes look great. I am all set for the next little bit of festivities. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel a little tired to be honest. I just like did not sleep well. And like, I woke up super early and so I just like knocked out halfway through my lash appointment. I think I was like mid conversation too. Yeah, it's fine. I am going to head to my friend's place. So, yeah.
This is Car Talk with Joey. I just completed my second workout of the day. Um, I didn't feel like I had like an amazing workout this morning, so I had time and decided to come back in the evening. And yeah, I think I feel a little bit better about the workout today. But yeah, basically, I've just kind of been potatoing, hibernating, um, watching a lot of K-dramas. Actually, like more recently, I finished Eve and I'm caught up with Love Next Door, which is so good. Um, it's just like a sweet, lighthearted K-drama to watch. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, I didn't think that the chemistry between the two leads in Love Next Door would work, but I'm, I'm all for it right now. They're super cute together. Honestly, this month has been a little bit chaotic. I didn't actually vlog very much throughout the month, only bits and pieces. It is basically October. Mentally, I feel really, really good right now. I'm not gonna lie. I feel very at peace. I feel like I'm working through a lot of internal issues that I wasn't able to overcome. And in a really weird way, I know that this this next chapter is definitely going to be the best one. Like I, it sounds so crazy, but even though there's like a lot of emotional roller coasters throughout the year, I think I am the happiest I've been in a long time with myself. And I say this because I've done a lot of of changes in my life to protect my peace and I just like am really excited for this next chapter. I'm gonna be brutally honest, it took a lot to get to this point. It's really eye-opening when you're in your 30s. You just like learn so much and I'm very content right now by myself and doing things by myself and it's like such a refreshing feeling and I feel really happy about it. I feel like I can just do what I want when I want and I'm kind of excited to share this like growth and journey with you because I've been vlogging for a long time but it feels like I've only been consistent for the last like two years or so, a year or so. Yeah, I am excited for you to see me flourish and I'm excited to just enjoy me and see what 2025 has in store. But yeah, sorry this vlog seems a little uneventful. It's kind of just like me living my life. If you watch my vlogs for a long time, I have been obsessing over upper body workouts just because it's so hard for me to grow back muscles and it's been like two years in the making and I'm starting to feel a little bit happier about that. Um, I'm definitely seeing more progress because I'm working out upper body like 85-90% of the time which is kind of insane but it just kind of works out for me that way that it, like my lower body kind of gains muscle a lot quicker. Like, I'm starting to enjoy these late night gym sessions a little bit more. I don't know why. I feel like the coming out when it's dark and I can kind of like decompress in the car after is like really nice. Because usually, if I work out in the morning, it's kind of hectic. I have things to do throughout the day or like work. So I feel like my mind's always like thinking about my schedule. But when it's late at night, I usually don't have anything after. So. I think that's all I can really say. Mm -hmm.